In the previous video, Case Setup Part 4, we finished setting up the case. This video will describe how to validate the case setup, export input files, and run the simulation. After you have worked through the case setup process, you need to check for errors. Click on the Case Setup Issues tab at the bottom of the screen. Converge Studio denotes errors with a red exclamation point and warnings with an orange question mark in both the Case Setup Issues log and adjacent to the affected section in the Case Setup doc. Errors will prevent Converge from running, but warnings will not. Nonetheless, we recommend that you resolve warnings as they may affect your results. To resolve an error or warning such as the example here, click on the red exclamation point or question mark in either the Case Setup Issues log or the Case Setup doc. Converge Studio will open the relevant dialog box. The problematic entry may be highlighted in red. After making changes, validate the case via the Validate All button. When you have resolved all errors and warnings, you will see a message that says, Validation has been successfully completed, no issues found. It is a good idea to save your work in Converge Studio as a .cvg file which preserves both the geometry and case setup information. Go to File, Save, or File, Save As to save your work. Converge Studio includes the capability to run a serial converge simulation via the Run Converge button. For typical IC engine simulations, however, it is necessary to run the simulation in parallel to achieve realistic runtimes. Thus, you need to export the input files from Converge Studio to a case directory from which you can execute a parallel simulation. It is important to verify that the version number of Converge matches the version number of Converge Studio. If not, the Converge solver may not be able to read your input files. To check the version number of Converge Studio that you are using, click on the Message Log tab at the bottom of the screen. Notice that we are using version 2.4 so the input files that we export will be version 2.4. This means that we must use the Converge 2.4 solver to run our simulation. If there is a mismatch between the version numbers of the input files and the solver, you will encounter errors. Go to File, Export, Export Input Files, and verify that all input files are selected. At the top of the dialog box, select an output folder in which to save the files. This folder is the case directory from which you will run the simulation. Use caution with the options near the bottom of the dialog box. The overwrite existing files and clean output folder before exporting checkboxes. If you check these boxes, you may lose old files in the specified directory. Click OK to export the input files. you will see a pop-up message that confirms the export. You are now finished with Converge Studio. Open a terminal and navigate to your case setup directory. Note that based on your system configuration and number of parallel machines, you need an appropriate Converge license. For additional assistance with configuring a Converge license, email licensing at convergecfd.com. Before you run a case, we recommend that you verify that all entries in the input files are valid. Converge provides a simple way to do this from the command line. Type the name of your Converge executable, followed by check underscore inputs. If the output from this command contains the message, Converge has checked the input files successfully, normal termination, then you are ready to run the simulation. A complicated simulation such as this SI8 case should be run in parallel. The recommended number of processors and amount of RAM that you will need will depend on the size of the domain, level of grid refinement, complexity of the reaction mechanism, and other case-dependent criteria. The specific command used to run Converge depends on the MPI package that you use. For example, to run a simulation on Windows with MPitch2, type MPI exec -n, followed by the number of processors, followed by the name of the Converge executable, and press Enter. 
Complex simulations can take hours or days to complete. To demonstrate the initial steps of a simulation, type the name of the converged serial executable and press Enter. The log output in the terminal shows that Converge reads the input files, writes echo files, which allow you to review the case setup, and begins the simulation. You can monitor the simulation progress through the information written at each cycle. Once the simulation is complete, open the case directory. You should see .out files in a subdirectory called output, which contains post.out files. The next video, Post Processing in the Line Plotting module, will describe how to visualize the information in these output files.